Here we go. So I need to stop talking. <laughs> no, you can talk. Unless you really don't want to be on recording. I just want people to hear these amazing pufferfish sounds. Why am I poisoned? Oh, they poison you! Apparently. I wonder how that happens. Magic. Hello. Is it if I get too close to them? That's kind of curious. That's kind of, it's kind of cool though. It adds a bit of danger to the ocean. Let's go party. Yeah, it's like if you get too close to them or something. All right, let's do salmon now. Ooh. Oh, that's kind of freaky looking. Long boy over here. I mean, yeah. Puffer fish are very poisonous, so. Yeah, I I just hadn't noticed that I was poisoned. It was kind of weird. Yeah, Death spar. I'm I'm playing in the snapshot, and they added uh, puffer fish. And like there's there's. What? Like a mob? Yeah, like a mob. It sounds... The sound is amazing. It's all like... And to move, they like puff themselves up and then deflate and they like propel themselves with that. It's the cutest thing ever. I love it. <laughs> okay, um... Salmon is basically what I expected it to be. They, they don't make noise, unfortunately. Cod also do not make noise. By the way, cod is the new name for uh, regular fish. So, it looks like, yeah, cod at least will school together. So they like group up and go as one. I wonder if salmon do the same thing. Fish don't really, don't really, they look more like tuna to me, like really tiny tuna. Yeah, looks like salmon are kind of lone rangers, which makes sense because that's kind of what they do IRL. I oh, know these these guys are kind of swimming together. I haven't noticed that's the uh, puffer one fish. Of the dungeons in the alternative end. That's far. That screenshot what? you just put. The screenshot you put, that's an alternate, the alternate end, like, okay. dungeon kind of thing. There's also new items that are, uh, all three of the fish <laughs> buckets, so I'm kind of wondering what that's all about. Oh, it's just what, a what fish it, in a bucket. What actually is, is an inn island that I took out of the end and transplanted a building onto, into the real world because the end doesn't work. So now you can go there and get endermen and choker shells. Nice. Okay, so I guess you can catch the fish, like the actual mobs, in a bucket. And then place them wherever. Except that it's it's kind of broken in creative mode because it, it uh, actually empties the bucket. And I don't think it's supposed to do that. So if I were to but dig a one by one hole and put... The thing is though... Actually. I want... Be able to put a, a small slime in a bucket. Kinky. Oh, there's that mod that you can do that. What mod is that? I don't know. I think it's a mod pack actually. It's like a tinker, either a tinker's mod pack or like something. Tinkers, you, you can put tinkers. slime, little slimes in buckets. Oh, I need to uh, change my textures. And what they do? The, the little slime will, will start animating. In your hot bar when you're in a slime chunk. Oh. oh. Nice. All right. Here we go. I now have a glass case with a puffer fish in it. Okay, it's very it's, nice. It's from Feed the Beast. Oh. Um. That's awkward. Oh, actually, there's two different versions. Ah. Slime in a bucket, better storage, and slime in a bucket, pork. Yeah. Well, uh, rip this guy, I guess. Um. And what up? I'm gonna take this away. Oh, yep, he's okay, dying. It's the cork one I'm talking about. Oh. Oh, new pufferfish texture. 
don't know if yeah, I've okay. seen that before. Slime in the bucket is an item added by Quark, which is a mod apparently. It's obtained by using an empty bucket on a slime of its smallest form. Emptying the bucket will release the slime. The slime in a bucket can be used for, to craft anything a regular slime ball can. The slime will start jumping inside the bucket when the player is inside of a slime chunk. Nice. How cool is that? Pretty nifty. It's pretty cool. Um, I think that's it for new mobs and new mechanics. Other than that, it's just kind of what it's been, I think. Woo! That was rough. Does it still mess up? Yeah, it messes up the F5 a bit when you go through the uh, seagrass and stuff. But other than that, it looks pretty smooth. It is looking pretty good. Oh, I want to see if I can find uh, some of the underwater generation. Also, it looks a lot better underwater now. Like, not with just the seagrass and everything, but they've added, like, sand kind of intermitt intermittently. Um, kind of adds to it, I think. It's really nice. I really want to find a uh, an underwater ravine, though. Ooh, could this be it? Could this be our underwater ravine? <gasps> oh, look at this! This is this is cool. It like pulls you down to the bottom. The the magma blocks, obviously. That's kind of cool. What level am I at right now? I'm on 11. Ooh, diamonds! <laughs> nice. I wonder if I can find a cave, too. Hello? Okay, there we go. I want to find an exit to an underwater cave, because that's a, a thing now as well. Oh! More diamonds! Might be the same. Yeah, it's like a group of four there. I don't know if there are any caves in here. Doesn't quite look like it. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's a very small underwater cave here. Maybe. Here we go. Oh, is that more diamonds? Jeez. There we go. Apparently diamonds are really easy to find in underwater caves, or I've just been really lucky. <clears throat> Were you staying up all night to get lucky? Not quite all night. Dude, okay. though. Like, seriously, it's... I'm, I'm excited for this. I'm gonna have to get some uh, water breathing potions ready. Oop. And now we're... Ooh. That's interesting. But... Oh, and I found uh, an abandoned mineshaft now. But anyway, I think that's about it.